I got a present from my friends at uh, Banggood. Platonic friends, of course. It's an 80 millimeter face mill. And it takes uh, six inserts. I also got an arbor for this. Banggood actually had to send me this uh, twice because the uh, bimbo at the uh, local post office gave it uh, to some random person and it uh, never surfaced again. Lucky for me, I didn't uh, pay for this. It's a free uh, test sample. And it also came with a box full of inserts. Well, uh, let me uh, quickly uh, assemble this and then I will do some uh, inspection. This uh, looks straightforward. Although I do wonder what these uh, bolts or tabs on both sides uh, of the arbor, what they are for. Maybe I should do a little bit of uh, decreasing because it is uh, well uh, lubricated. It's a very thick washer. It looks like the uh, thread only engages for uh, two uh, full revolutions, maybe even less. Hmm. Um, I don't like that. I'm going to uh, search for a longer bolt. Well, I found something in the uh, used uh, bolts bin. It's a bit longer, about a half a centimeter, but it does have a uh, different uh, style head. But uh, I don't care. This should work if it isn't too long. That's better. And now it needs uh, a couple of inserts. That's one. I don't think you guys need to see me put in uh, five more of these. So I'm going to uh, charge the camera because the battery light is starting to flash again. And I'm back. Back from doing a visual inspection, drinking some tea and uh, recharging the uh, camera battery. And I'll tell you, I found a uh, flaw with this thing. And it's a serious one. I tighten up this uh, insert screws harder than uh, I'm used to for uh, lathe cutters, uh, just using the uh, default uh, screwdriver thingy. And after I uh, couldn't get it any tighter, I used my crescent wrench and turned the uh, screw another 10 degrees, more or less. Then I took the uh, face mill and held it against the light and found air gaps behind this and that uh, insert. And I think that's a serious problem. It will uh, probably increase the chance of an insert breaking and it might also affect the height of the uh, insert so they might not all be running on the same uh, plane. But I will uh, test this uh, mill and hopefully the uh, effect uh, won't be noticeable. I think this uh, 
looks a bit like one of those uh, gigantic tunnel drilling machines and that gave me an idea about doing a bit where some Lego men uh, tunnel their way into a bank vault but that's more the uh, old Tony style so I will leave that idea up to your imagination and uh, that's probably better anyway you might know that I don't have a milling machine yet so I will be uh, playing with this uh, face mill on uh, my vintage slave in uh, much the same way as I've been playing with a fly cutter lately now uh, fly cutting can be extremely slow and uh, I'm hoping this will uh, perform a little better A uh, torque spec in newton meters would be nice. A word of warning, I have zero experience using a phase mill and this is actually the first time I see one in real life. So you could say I might be the uh, perfect person to uh, evaluate this uh, product. I certainly haven't been spoiled with uh, expensive and uh, high quality tools. Not sure if that is the best uh, argument in my favor but I'm not going to uh, talk myself down not today I am great and this video will be great alright I thought we uh, start with some uh, aluminium this is a scrap of the same stuff that I used for making the uh, camera quick uh, release plate um, fly cutting that uh, worked better than expected I almost got an uh, uh, mirror like finish some uh, WD-40 to uh, prevent the aluminium from sticking to the uh, inserts and I'm going to run the lathe at uh, top speed and that's a whopping 600 rpm according to an online uh, calculator I used I could uh, run the lathe uh, spindle three times as fast I'll uh, put a link of that uh, calculator in the uh, description below the video if you're interested Here we go, top speed. again and this time I'll be turning the cross light quicker aluminium uh, is flying everywhere Let's take a really big cut. And now we're finishing cut. I'll admit that was pretty cool. <clears throat> I 
the inserts are all survived and uh, look pretty clean very smooth I like it I guess that was a success and now I will have to move on to something a bit tougher uh, some steel scriptonium that uh, looks and feels pretty good it still isn't a uh, mirror finish but uh, that could be due to actual play in uh, my spindle bearings that uh, mostly goes away when the uh, spindle gets uh, a little warm this is a uh, small boring bar holder that I made for my uh, blue cargo lathe a couple of videos ago uh, while drilling the holes for the uh, set screws I broke a drill and I shortened the holder so uh, let's try and uh, clean this up and of course this is made from the uh, finest uh, scriptonium uh, scrap money can buy I'm going to run the uh, lathe at uh, 400 Hertz because that's the number the uh, online calculator uh, spat out Here we go. It could probably use some loop if I can find it. Dialing in a light cut. A little deeper I thought this time. Alright, so far so good. And I think that was a little bit uh, smoother than uh, using a fly cutter. Oh, that's not bad. It's not perfect, but it's not bad either. A uh, kind of pseudo mirror finish. I'll take another cut and uh, remove the last bit of this uh, hole that I drilled. I think I got it all. Well, the hole, or what was left of the hole, that's gone, but the finish is uh, definitely not as nice. Maybe that happened on the uh, return uh, cut. I will take one more very light pass, and after that, I won't uh, return the uh, cross slide to the uh, starting position. That's a little bit better, but maybe I should uh, take a deeper cut to get a, a better finish. But I will accept this for now. Um, next I will uh, clean up these uh, saw cuts. Look at that. Most of it gone in one pass. Let's take another cut and see if I can uh, improve the uh, surface finish a little bit more.
Oh, that feels very nice. And now I got to do the other side. Acceptable. Is it perfect? No, certainly not. But uh, the same can be said for this uh, machine or uh, the operator. Now how about uh, cleaning up some uh, mill scale? That will uh, give these uh, inserts something to do. This by the way is that uh, boring bar holder you uh, saw me working on in the uh, previous video if you saw the previous video. Well I'm not going to use any oil uh, this time because uh, I'm starting to uh, smoke myself out here. It's probably not very healthy like a sauna and all those other uh, torture methods. Uh, check that out. That's pretty good. Better than that uh, little boring bar. I think it's the uh, depth of cut that has a uh, rather big influence on the uh, surface finish. I just set the uh, workpiece or the uh, boring bar holder to an angle of 45 degrees and now I'm going to take a chunk of this corner uh, to give the camera a better angle at the uh, hole I'm boring out. And I guess that's uh, all for you guys. So you better appreciate it. I'm slowly increasing the uh, depth of cut with every pass. Next cut will be uh, three quarter of a millimeter deep. It's definitely getting more violent. Next cut will be uh, 0 0.8 millimeter. I'm not going to go any deeper because I can uh, feel those hits in the uh, in the ball handle. Next cut half a millimeter. to go about halfway into the uh, 20 millimeter hole. I've done some uh, cleaning up and uh, this is how it uh, looks now. I can uh, probably get it uh, a little bit better but uh, where's the point in that? I won't get a higher grade and it will work fine just as it is. Now I still need to do the uh, other side, but I'll do that uh, off camera, because uh, you guys probably have been uh, tortured long enough with the uh, noise this uh, lathe uh, makes. A few uh, set screws and then this will be a very usable boring bar holder. 
that will be perfect for uh, when I start making a backing plate for that uh, Cushman chuck. It's hammer time. Well, that was enough fun uh, for today. Well, I'm done testing and uh, hopefully no one has gotten any uh, permanent hearing damage. Um, I'm not sure if I can uh, pass judgment on this tool having tested it on my uh, old and dodgy lathe. But uh, I can tell you that it certainly worked a whole lot better than using a uh, fly cutter. And I'm sure it will be a very usable addition to the uh, tool temple arsenal. But it sure has some problems. The uh, arbor bolt was just way too short and that's uh, probably just a stupid mistake. Nasty things might happen if that uh, bolt comes undone when using the uh, face mill. And the air gaps behind two of the inserts should not have been there. I'm actually a bit surprised I didn't break an insert, especially with all those uh, interrupted cuts and uh, tighter than tight insert screws. They must be some tough inserts, although I got the feeling that uh, they were losing the edge near the end of testing. To be honest, I had uh, much fun playing with this toy, so I won't be uh, too critical about it. And I don't think I would be better served with a high-end expensive tool. But having said that, I wouldn't mind seeing this thing run on a known good milling machine. Maybe that'll happen uh, one day, who knows. Well that's it for me, till next time. I was almost done editing this video when I thought I should try and make a photo of the air gap behind the insert, you know for uh, illustration purposes. But the air gap is gone, both of them are gone. The milling force must have knocked them into place. And uh, that's what we call a uh, happy ending in this uh, business. And to the uh, fanatical Tool Temple followers that just can't get enough of my uh, amateur machining, enjoy the extra footage that I stuck to the end. It's nothing special, I just didn't uh, want to throw it away. One last final test. See if I can break one of those inserts that has an air gap behind them. This here is some of the uh, toughest scraptonium you can find at the uh, local scrapyard. I used this for the uh, failed cross drilling jig that I made uh, earlier this year and uh, I basically went through the same procedure with the uh, fly cutter and uh, that took forever, really forever. And I'm sure this face mill will do the job a lot quicker. Hopefully it will stay in place. I cannot move the uh, workpiece more towards me because there's not enough travel on the uh, cross light. that when the uh, workpiece comes in uh, contact with the uh, cutter on the on the rear here it will lift up the workpiece we'll see what happens I don't know if you can see it, but 
it did uh, touch this corner here. One last final pass to uh, try and improve the uh, surface finish. It is a bit warm. There you can see that it also uh, started cutting on the opposite side. It's a bit lower. But that's a lathe problem, not a cutter with a face mill. Surface finish is, well, acceptable for uh, my standards. But I get a feeling that those uh, cutters uh, might have had their uh, best time. Well that's it for me. To be continued. And I can now uh, probably start remaking that uh, cross drilling jig or maybe try making some of those uh, chuck wedges. <laughs>